Hello, and welcome to Lift Trucks Conversation Series. I'm your host, Tom Christopher. Today, we're speaking with Pam Hart, who recently won a Creative Writing Fellowship and Poetry Grant Award Award. Join us now as Mackie and I ask her about her work and the process. We're also welcoming your questions on Twitter as we have live feed. So join us now. So thanks for stopping by. Please join me as we visit with Pamela Hart and Mackie Christopher. This is her writing desk as she curates at Lift Trucks Project. She's surrounded by her favorite things, and Mackie will be asking her questions about a recent award from the National Endowment of the Arts. Mackie. Thanks for joining us. Oh, I'm very excited to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. The NEA only awards about 5% of the thousands who apply for this award. Were you nervous applying? I don't know that I was nervous, I just didn't expect to win. So you recently curated the drive-by gallery at Lift Trucks Project. Yes, I did. Um, well, of course, being at Lift Trucks is, has been a great um, experience for me. As a writer, I use a lot of, um, I turn to the visual arts Definitely. for inspiration in a number of my poems. And so to actually be surrounded by visual works of art is um, very invigorating. And I feel like the drive-by gallery is kind of a great solution to the whole problem of how to get people to um, look at, at art. How did you come up with that idea? Was I'm, it all on your own, Pam? No, it definitely wasn't. No, it wasn't. Um, like, it wasn't. All, like all great ideas. Yes, we had a collaborator, didn't <laughs> we? There was a collaborative, yes, we um, did. A collaborative um, effect. Yes. And you know what happens when people start to talk and ideas are kind of firing around the room. Yes, I think I was there. I think you were there. Yes, thank you. Well, Pam, if I can jump in here, Mackie. You also curated a tattoo show to great applause and recognition. Do you know any other poets who've tattooed a curated a tattoo show? Not that I not that I know of. I mean there may be poets out there who've done that, but I've I've not seen it. Do you think this could have cinched the deal, propelled you to the top in the selection process? Oh. There are thousands of applicants. Well you know, I didn't actually have the opportunity when I applied. Drive by gallery has been called the lazy man's way to see art. Are we back at the drive by gallery again? Could be. Let's try to stick to one subject at a time. I think we're moving along quite well here. Don't repeat the same question. Pam, you also put together a very well-received show called Ekphrasis. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Um, um, that was my first project that here, was actually. first project here. First, the first show I curated. Uh, I have to say that's probably my favorite show um, yes. in terms of my own personal you know, investment. Um, who was the best writer? Was there a that's, a, that's a unfair question to ask. Okay. Who was the best artist? <laughs> Me. I've been asking plenty of questions. Mackie, you've been Mine asking... actually are appropriate. Yeah. Mackie's been asking great questions, it's true. Thank you. You're, you have a good future, I think. So, do you find you get inspiration from Edgar Allan Poe? No. Similar to Popeye the Parrot? Oh, no. Well... I no. Are you, are you done? Yeah. Oops. Now that you are... We'll take these from the yeah, audience. He's going to ignore that part. Now that you are a fully recognized, bona fide poet, and validated by NEA Grant <laughs> Award Award, is this like a, a license to drink yourself? Say that twice. To drink yourself in a stupor <laughs> as you walk the moors until daybreak, shooting off guns. Well, that spy. seems like a very insulting question. Or here's another question. This is from Minnesota. Do you find yourself being invited to better parties and having the opportunity to make better new friends? You know what? Most people really couldn't give. Oh, here we go. We have a good one now. This comes from Colorado Springs. How did you and Tom Christopher, the gifted artist, think of the drive-by gallery idea? This is the very first one on the East Coast. You're calling yourself a didn't, gifted artist on the I'm show. I'm reading this on Twitter. I am not making this. Wait, There's nothing on the we, screen if you look. Think, you go to the horse and hound now. Hmm. Do you find you're being applauded and asked to have poetry readings in a uh, battle with other pubs? When I walk West into Chester? the horse and hound, it's the crowd. Do people ask lost. you to draw a painting when you walk in? Yeah. When you go to get pizza, do they ask for a little drawing on the box? That's a very good before. point. Nobody, you, you wouldn't dare do that, right? What? Draw, make a drawing on the box, on a pizza box? Uh -huh. Well, free pizza. I don't like, just <laughs> okay. start writing poems. <laughs> oh my God, what mm. the hell? 